All right, guys, so today we're talking about section control on the Gen 4 and point out some differences between what you would see on the Gen 4 and the 2630. So here I'm on the section control page. Uh, the easiest way to get there on the Gen 4 is to hit your menu button, go to applications, and then find your section control application. First thing you can see right here is your master switch. So we have the ability to turn section control on and off. A lot of times this is on the shortcut bar too at the bottom of one of your run pages. Uh, another thing we have here is headline control. Uh, so headline control, a lot of times guys will use this, say if they want to plant their end rows last. You have to have an external boundary, um, but if you're wanting to plant your end rows last, for example, say you're pulling a 60 foot planter and you want to leave two passes based off your exterior boundary. So we would turn this on and say you're wanting to do two passes, you would type in 120 foot offset and then section control is going to work based off that offset from your exterior boundary. So you would have a 120 foot gap from where section control turns off to the end of that uh, exterior boundary. Um, another new thing here that we have is the ability to turn off and on exterior and interior boundaries. So on a 2630, for example, if you had an exterior boundary and you were spraying and you got up close to the exterior boundary, uh, the last section of your boom would shut off if you got over that exterior boundary. On a Gen 4, we can go in here and uncheck this exterior boundary. And so if we hang over our exterior boundary now, that last section will not shut off. Same thing for our interior boundaries. You notice here we got corn and fertilizer. So for this uh, um, simulator, we have a corn planter with a fertilizer system on it. But we can go in here and turn on and off section control for it as well. Uh, for both of these, we have overlap settings, so we can go in, this is sort of similar to the uh, 2630, but if we click on our overlap settings, you'll see here, uh, based off our interior, exterior, and uh, just coverage right here, so most of the time we want 100% overlap, and then you can click on it, and a lot of times what we'll do, we'll click 100% overlap, and then we'll just click plant a row. Um, sometimes people want to do like a 15 inch overlap just to make sure they're getting it. That's fine as well. You just click overlap and uh, type in 15 inches. Same thing for skip. You can put in a skip too if you want to. Um, like I said, that, that works for both corn and fertilizer. Uh, the best thing about the Gen 4 section control is that we have performance tuning. So we're able to actually, uh, you know, go out and plant, plant a headland, then come in and out of that headland and kind of see where we are. Uh, you know, get get the strap out and pull up the uh, closing wheel and see where that seed placement actually is. And then we can do some measurements and type it in here and it'll set our on off times for us based off these measurements. So it'll give you here kind of an overview of what we're doing. So what you do, you go out and plant a headland and then you would plant into that headland and also plant out of that headland. You know, you'd, you'd want your gauge wheel up so you can kind of see where the seed is be in place. This also works for sprayers. It's just a lot harder to see on a sprayer, um, but you can actually do it for a sprayer. So say you're entering your headland and you see a skip of three feet and you're going eight mile an hour. The key to this whole uh, performance tuning too is to keep a constant speed. And then once you get it tuned in, you also want to keep a constant speed when you're operating going in and out of your headlands. Uh, but like I said, entering your planted area, you would type in a skip. Say you have a skip of three feet going eight mile an hour and then you could do that uh, simulate take a long time but you would type in three feet eight mile an hour and say coming out of your planted area um, you had an overlap of three feet going eight mile an hour you would type that in and hit next and then it would automatically set your mechanical on off times for you and you would just have to accept the changes and then you would be good to go uh, another thing we have here is advanced settings for section control. So we are able to go in and uh, visualize your mechanical delay, look ahead. That's just something you would see on the screen. You would kind of see your sections going on and off based off the implement. And then ignore previous coverage for tillage operations. This is if you have section control for uh, a tillage tool. That way it's not picking that tillage tool up if you're overlapping on your tillage. Uh, this isn't very commonly used, but it's always off.